It's the best plan we've ever had. I should go to the kitchen and grab some more donuts. I feel energized. You had like 20 donuts. I'm not doing it. These footsteps. Oh no. That is flowing perfectly. Yeah, what do you see? Or we can find out who's cracking them. I don't want to find that out. I'm starting to feel very alone. And I'm pretty sure he's holding the hammer. I think you're seeing things. Hey, buddy. Not good. Not good. Pixie must be calling me. He was definitely onto something. He's coming with us. Hey guys, welcome back to another Friendly Foe video. I decided to turn on the GoPro because I cannot sleep. I don't know about you guys, the thought of these two remaining crystals has been on my mind and I cannot get any sleep until me and Big Z find a way to attain these other two crystals. Papa Jake said that they're gonna be in Pond Monster eggs as well. They could be anyway. The Pond Monster lays a bunch of eggs and not everyone has a crystal in it because there's only three crystals and there's like a thousand Pond Monster eggs. Also, if you didn't know, I'm currently in me and Big Z's secret hideout, which we are using as our headquarters where me and Big Z are staying as we find these crystals. We have our gadget board here. The lady we stole from the blue mask criminal, the Ant-Man helmet, and the monster bastard is missing right now because Biggs likes to sleep with it. He has attachment issues. These are the slots where we're going to be keeping our crystals. Papa Jake is still extracting the first crystal from the egg me and Biggs he found. He says it might take a while. He wants to be very, very careful with it. I'm going to head to the kitchen. I think this could be a long night because I'm coming up with a strategy tonight on how we're finding the rest of those crystals because I don't think I'm ever going to get any sleep if we don't. You might be wondering, Phil, why are you going to the kitchen? Trust me, I've got an idea. You can't stay up all night without some donuts! The kitchen's always good for some donuts. I whip myself up five sprinkled donuts in a Boston cream for when Bixie wakes up. It's his second favorite. Now these will definitely provide me the energy I need to come up with a master plan on how we're finding the rest of these crystals. Also, if you didn't see the video where me and Bixie set up this awesome HQ, you gotta go check it out! But I gotta get to work and figure out how me and Biggs are gonna find the rest of these crystals. You're up early! But what are you doing up so early? What do you mean, what am I doing up so early? 5 a.m. in the morning. It's 5 a.m.? Oh no. I've been out since midnight. What have you been doing for so long? Oh, Pixie, you're not gonna believe me, but I've come up with an amazing strategy of how we're gonna find the rest of the crystals. Here, you want a donut? I made a boss of cream just for you. <gasps> donuts are snacks, not five in the morning. What do you mean, Pixie? Donuts are for every part of the day. What do you mean we're going after these crystals? Oh, we're gonna have a chill out gaming day today. We can't take a day off. These crystals are out there. We need to find them. Maybe you should stop eating some donuts. You should get some sleep. Sleep. Also, what we're both here, what a perfect time to give an awesome shout out to one of the fans. I'm always down for that. There's that energy. Today's shout out goes to KDH PDG. Thank you so much for being an awesome member of the fam. And also, you can't wait to get your brand new Friendly Phil merch. That's awesome. Because guys, if you did not know, me and Big Z just launched the first ever state friendly collection here on the Friendly Phil channel. It's the first merch we've ever had. And Big Z actually still needs to get him. We just ordered it on our website. www.shopfriendlyphil.com. I think it's coming tomorrow. And this first edition merch even comes with a sprinkled donut on the back. Because what would merch be without a donut on it? Big Z, check it out. That's what I'm talking about, Phil. Hand me another donut. Coming right up. Also, guys, if you're new here, do not forget to smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, and of course, tap the bell, because me and Biggs are always going on awesome adventures, and who would want to miss that? Let's see what you've come up with all night. All right, Bixie, so it's right here, the whole night. Oh, Phil, this is it? This is all you have? This is what you came up with all night? See, what do you mean? This is the best plan we've ever had. Check this out. This is where we first found our first ever pond monster egg, down by the sewer. Do you remember? Phil, I remember. So I think if we go back here, obviously there's a streamline. And down that streamline, there's going to be all the other eggs that he laid. We just find those eggs, try to break them open, and see there's a crystal in them. Also, these little sewers, there's probably other sewers we haven't been in yet that also lead to other eggs. You got to slow down over there. I didn't understand half the things you just said. Come on, Bixie, it's gonna be great! I don't know about this. Okay, awesome, I've already got my backpack packed. But one sec, I should go to the kitchen and grab some more donuts. Phil, I do not think we need any more donuts! We are currently the compound where we found our first ever pond monster egg. But I'm not so sure we're gonna find these next three crystals. They could be anywhere. Also, Jake told us the pond monster lays like hundreds of eggs. I know, but we gotta start somewhere, right? So I figured, go to where we found the first pond monster egg. We'll follow the river down as far as it leads, and that's how we'll find the rest of the pond monster eggs. They may or may not have crystals in them. That's yeah, a lot easier saying it than actually doing it. It's getting late, it's starting to rain. Let's just get this over with. All right, also said he was getting late. What time is it? I feel energized. Uh, Phil, it's because you had like 20 donuts. This is true. Maybe I'm on a bit of a sugar rush. I know I say it every time. Being on this bridge during the day feels so much safer than when we're here at night. Let's just be quiet and quick because we don't know if there's a pond monster sleeping down there. Agreed. Imagine we find one right here. We don't even have to go searching for it. I don't think we're going to get that lucky. If you did not see the episode where we found the pond monster egg, we traveled to this exact location, saw this crazy looking sewer drain, and actually read a comment from one of you guys that you saw an egg in the nest. So me and Big Z traveled a little further down the stream. 
and found our first bomb monster egg, like right here. And it had a crystal in it. So as I explained earlier, I think the plan is to follow this stream further and further down. Maybe go through a couple new sewer lines. Start looking for pond monster eggs. Because this crystal could be in many of them. Yeah, Bixie, did you find one? These footsteps. Phil, you don't think anyone else is looking for these pond monster eggs, do you? I don't know, I thought we were the only ones. There's no way there's other people out here looking for pond monster eggs. Not only the blue masked criminals knew about the crystals. Remember Jake said there might be others too. This could be from anything. Maybe they were from a couple days ago. Who knows? Let's just follow down the river and start finding these pond monster eggs. No luck so far, but we're gonna keep going further and further down this streamline. Phil, what are you doing? Look at your white shoes. Oh no. We did not choose the proper foot attire for this adventure. Next time, we're wearing boots. Add to the list of things to put inside our secret bunker. Oh, Pixie, forget about our shoes. I'm not too sure, but I think I see a sewer drain just up ahead. That could lead into a whole new swamp where there could be tons of pond monster eggs. Because I really don't think Phil knows how bad his shoes look. But that sprinkle donut on the new merch looks amazing. Yeah, Pixie, it's a sewer. Come on. Look, the water's flowing perfectly this way. This must be where eggs are going. I think that's pretty accurate. Let's keep going. Uh, Phil, why are you walking like that? So my feet don't get wet. Okay, fair point. I'm not gonna lie, this sewer, not as smelly as the last one. Well, I don't know about you, it still smells pretty bad. Whew, all right, Big Z, that's one tunnel already out of the way. Glad no one was chasing us because that waddle walk or whatever we did, we wouldn't get very far very fast. If we were being chased, I don't think I would have cared if my feet got wet. I would have ran. Definitely never been in that tunnel. If you want to keep track of this tunnel system, we better write it down when we get back to the underground bunker. Mapping out the tunnel system will be a key to us getting around the city really quickly and hopefully finding all these crystals. I think that's a great idea. Oh, Big Z, you trying to play a game? I'm not trying to play games. We got a job to do. No games. Come on, I dare you to cross this broken down tree. Are you crazy, Phil? I'm not crossing that tree. What if I fall down? Well, then the river will break your fall, of course. I'm not doing it, Phil. All right, fine. We're here for the eggs anyways. Leave a comment down below if you think Big Z should try climbing across this tree in a later video. Whoa, look at all the sewers that feed into here. Here, pass me the flashlight. No eggs, but that would be a perfect place. If one got stuck in there, that would make sense why nobody's found it yet. Check this sewer out. We're in sewer heaven right now. No such thing as sewer heaven. It's just an expression. Wait, Pixie, I think that's an egg. This egg's already been broken. What if it had a crystal in it? Unless someone has it on their hand. Oh, that's not good. Not every egg has a crystal in it. Either way, broken egg, not good. Let's just hope it was by accident though. I'm sure these things crack open all the time. I thought you said no one was gonna be here. Clearly, someone cracked open the egg. Wasn't hatched naturally. I don't wanna be here. Someone else is here and I don't like it. Just cause this egg's cracked open doesn't mean someone did it. It could've just happened naturally. It was on the side of a rock. If it cracked open naturally, it'd be at the end of the river. Why would someone grab it and put it on the rock? I don't know, but it means we're onto something. Come on, let's keep heading down the river. We might find more eggs or we can find out who's cracking them. I don't wanna find that out. Why are you taking the rocks that are gonna get our feet wet? Try my best not to. Oh, Big Z. Now this tree you could definitely do. You could definitely walk across this one. No, Phil, I'm not doing it. Why don't you do it? Well, that wouldn't be safe. Trying to get me to do it. Feels like we've been walking down this river for hours. It's only been like 20 minutes. Ooh, we're at a crossroads though. There's two paths. Well, looks like I'll take the left one, you take the right one. Whoa, 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 hold on, Phil. It's um, seems to be getting a bit late. Maybe we just, uh, you know, come back tomorrow when it's- you don't even have a watch on. Uh, it's getting late, okay? The sun's going down. Well, good thing you got a flashlight. Hey, I'll even give you the monster blaster. Then you don't have a monster blaster. At the end of the day, I don't want you to get hurt. I'm gonna be fine. There's nobody out here. I told you. Nobody cracked that egg. It just cracked itself. It just doesn't look good. Been here before. When we split up, nothing good happens. This time's different. I'm gonna take the right lane. You take the left lane. We'll meet right back here in 10 minutes and then we'll go home. We have to find these two other crystals. This could be one of the only opportunities we have before they get found by the other people looking for them. I thought there's no one else looking for them. Well, I don't know if there is, but Papa Jake said there could be a chance. I want a 0% chance, Phil. Zero. Well, it's a 0% chance that we're stopping right now. I'll go down the right lane. You go down the left lane and we'll Meet back here. Ten minutes. I really don't know what Big Z's so worried about. Literally, the fact that we found that cracked egg means that we could be onto something. I really hope we can find all three of these crystals and impress Papa J. Ten minutes. I'm setting a timer right now on my phone. Once it reaches ten minutes, I'm calling Phil. That's it. Adventure over. We're going home. I'm not even sure I want to find these crystals. Get all three. Who knows what could happen? I better pick up my pace though. Only ten minutes. I want to try to get as far down in this stream as possible. Like Papa Jake said, there's other people looking for these. If we have all three, then everyone's gonna start looking for us. I don't know about you guys, but I do not like getting chased. So not gonna lie.
why. I probably shouldn't have given Biggs the Monster Buster. I really only did it so he would agree to us splitting up, but it's getting kind of dark out and I'm starting to feel very alone. Like very, very alone. Feels like it's been forever. I could really use some food, chocolate dip donut, some pepperoni pizza. Oh. Oh no, not another tunnel. These things are bad enough when I have someone with me. What is what is that? I think it's another broken egg. Now I gotta go on one alone. The things we do to find these crystals. Okay, at least I can see the other side. These definitely are not breaking by accident. There's gotta be some people around here breaking the eggs to try to look for the crystals. He's wearing a suit. I don't think it's normal for people to wear suits in the forest. No, this is not the time to be getting a phone call. Hey, Big Z, what's up? Phil, there's a man in a suit in the forest. What do you mean there's a guy in the suit? A man in a suit, Phil. Don't worry about it. I'm sure it's just someone on a walk. Phil, people who go for walks don't wear suits, especially in the forest. A suit in the middle of the woods? I think you're seeing things. Phil, I'm not seeing things. And I'm pretty sure he's holding the hammer. No, he is not holding a hammer. Why don't you just go up to him? I'm sure he's really friendly. I'm not going up to him. Please get yourself a better look. I'm sure it's all fine. Come on, I'm in a tunnel. I need to get out of here. Big C is probably not going to be happy that I hung up on him, but I do not like being in this tunnel. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Just just wondering uh, why you're strolling around the forest in a, in a suit. Not good. Not good. Good guy. Phil was wrong. A couple more minutes up the river, and then we'll head back and meet up with Big C. Okay, man in a suit with a hammer. Not good, oh, okay. Oh no, oh no, oh. Not good, not good. Oh no, that's my phone. Bigsy must be calling me. He was definitely onto something. This is not good. We don't have any of the other. Phil, Phil, can you hear me? We got your boy over here, and he's coming with us. 